What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Breakout 02, fa digital face-to-face. -face. We have one of the bouts of the Tournament of Power, little lightweight Tournament of Power. On my left, I got AJ Redwood. And then, well, well I mean, my, my shit's fucking mirrored, so. <laughs> um, okay, uh, on my, okay, so there, on my right, I have Thomas uh, Spartan. How are you guys doing? I'm good, bro. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good, man. Excited I get to do yours. I I, I really I really thought I, did, I wasn't gonna even do it. I thought it was Waffle was gonna do a guarantee, but I guess not. You good, bro? All yeah. right. Um. So, for let's start with a question for both of you. Uh, how did this match was even in the talks? Because I feel like we mean you guys have been going back and forth. You guys have been wanting to fight for a while now since before even break out one. AJ. I, I just want you to tell me, like, how how did this start? Uh, okay, so I was supposed to fight Ant on Breakout 001, but uh, I honestly asked for too much money to travel, which is what it is. I mean, honestly, I'm getting to this event without any conversation. Just figured I'd throw that out there because uh, people wanted to be on my ass for that. But, um, yeah, so I was supposed to fight Ant on 001, and that fell through because I wasn't able to get there because of travel. And Thomas seemed like the perfect opponent to fight on O2, and Ant was not down. As much as he wants to say I was the one who bitched out of the fight, he was not down to fight me on O2, which is why he wants to fight me on O3. And it's crazy because he was like, "Oh, yo, why don't you want to fight me on O1? Are oh, you beat a bitch?" And then right when I was like, "Yo, fight me on O2 in South Carolina," he was like, "That's not happening. That's not happening." Until I got an opponent, and now he wants to act like I'm the bitch. But that's how the fight came about. Also, I think we. You were an opponent that was meant for me on 01, because uh, if you guys don't know, I was supposed to fight on breakout number one, and AJ, we were in talks to fight, but Stiff fell through, and I was going to fight Ivan, but that also didn't work, so now we've made it, so we we'll are fighting on number two, which is very cool, and yeah. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. I mean, AJ, we could talk. We're, we could talk about Ant for a whole hour, but this is about Thomas. I feel like you yeah. gotta focus on that because yeah. you know, um, with this tournament style, you know, instead of like having a whole card of a tournament like Kingpin or anything, we're having like this miniature one in the middle of the card. Uh, AJ, what is your preparation for this? Is like, are you doing anything new or anything? You don't have to tell me exactly, but like, how's uh, training camp um, been going for you? Training's been going great, actually. Uh, so now I'm trying to train two to three times a day, doing every single part of my body. I've been working my ass off. I've never trained this hard in my life, I'm going to be completely honest. But I am doing everything that I could possibly do to beat Thomas, and uh, that, that's how it's going to go. I don't want to give away too much of my game plan, but I am training as hard as humanly possible. Now, now Thomas, I mean, from from your Twitter and Instagram, and all that, I've noticed like you started training like in a gym and all that way before even like having a fight so what is your differences of training normally in a gym to now going into training camp fighting someone you know what's the difference yeah so i started that training camp all the way back in march at a three-month camp until june i think it was and then i took like a month and a half break i'm not in the gym right now right now i'm just training at home doing a bunch of um of shit uh, I will be back in the gym soon, though. I plan on, you know, bags, sparring, all that. But right now, I, I've gone on a diet, which is very awesome. Shout out to Tadakai for putting me on a sick diet. Yes, uh, yeah, just work on tons of cardio, bag work, uh, boxing drills. I am working on my jump roping. It's not... I'll be honest. I'll give respect to AJ. He's actually, like, pretty decent at jump roping. And, hey, you know... To be honest, bro, I've been jump roping for over two years, so it's unfair. Yeah. Unfair. It really but, isn't. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing, boxing drills, all that. So working on my cardio. Cardio is a big piece in this. So yeah. Okay, um, let me think of something. Uh how okay, AJ, how did you fall in the love with the sport of boxing? What made you say, I wanna try this out, I wanna dabble into it, see if I like it or not? What made you think, yeah, I wanna fight it? Like what? Um so if it's not extremely uh obvious, um there's a little bit of Jake Paul influence. Uh so the, the the first yeah. ever the yeah, first I see ever that. I see. Is, it, is that like Jake Paul Anderson and like the Tommy Fury knockdown? Yep. Yeah. Dang, you got that hanged up in your yeah. wall. That's crazy. Yes, sir. Uh, so what actually got me into boxing was a super random fight, actually, and I wasn't voting for Jake Paul, which is the funny part. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake Paul versus a Nissan Gibb. Oh. I don't even know why I bought it. 
I really don't. I was just like, yo, this is cool. YouTubers are fighting. And then Jake knocked him out in the first round. I was like, oh, shit, this kid's got something. So then I really just, I liked boxing ever since then, but I never tried it. But that's when I fell in love with boxing. Um, I probably started boxing like 2021, I'd say, whenever uh, all of like YouTube boxing started to pick up. But um, yeah, I, I fell in love with it ever since Jake Paul and the Nissan Gib, and it kind of just built slowly from there up until this point. Yeah, Tom, same question for you. What do you, what do you, uh, what made you fall in love with the sport? I was like, man, I actually want to try this out. What? So I've always been a big fan of the Sidemen, and then it was announced that KSI is fighting Joe Weller. I'm like, that that's sick. Mm-hmm. KSI has got this in the bag, and he came on top. Uh, I instantly fell in love with the sport. I didn't start training though. I watched uh, more fights and all that. But then Logan and KSI happened. I was like, I'm doing this shit. And then I started taking it more seriously last year. And I've always wanted to get on one of these cards. And I did. So, I much love to break out everyone. You know, they gave me a second chance, which is dope. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that's really cool. Um, I'm going to ask Thomas this because I've been asking AJ because he's part of Blaze. You know, like, I, ha- I had to give it a little, little bias when it comes to, like, asking the question first. I'm um, Thomas. What makes you think you can win this bout against AJ? Like, what, what is it anything you see online, or is it just your self confidence in yourself, like what, your ability? I think it's a mix of both. I think I want this more than AJ. I think that I have what it takes more, and I'm not gonna give too much away yet again. But I just have I have tons of confidence in myself and just stuff I've seen from AJ. I guess online. I'm not gonna like say anything and tell him what he's doing wrong, but. I'm just going to pick that part in the ring, and I'm going to win. So, All right, yeah. AJ, same question to you. Uh, what makes you believe you could be uh, Thomas over here? Um, Everything, bro. My confidence is through the roof. I've seen all of Thomas's footage. I've studied the fuck out of it. He doesn't have any sparring of me. So there's literally, what does he have to go off of? What have I been doing wrong? My shadow boxing? Bro, what the fuck is that? Bro, I've seen your sparring. And I'm going to beat you from what I've seen in your sparring. I've been studying the fuck out of you. You don't understand, bro. This... That was also that was also my first spar. So if you want to take that, I would want to. So do you know how many spars you put out? Like three, bro. At least three. And they were like a week apart from each other. So that was okay. one ago. You better hope you got better than that. Better since then, because goddamn, bro, that Thomas hey, is. You'll see, bro. You'll see. Oh, God. I really hope so, bro, because you it, it's not going to be a fight if that's still how you fight, bro. Let me just let you know. It's really not. Hey, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll so, see. This, so, f- so this fight is a three two-minute round with headgear and all that. Do you think that affects if you guys want to have a stoppage or all that? Like, do you bro. think – do you do you think – okay, now here, here's a better question. Uh, Thomas, do you think you could stop AJ? I was going to say, uh, I th- stoppage, yes. Knockout, it'll be harder because with headgear, you know, all that. Yeah. Uh, I think, I, I, I do think I could stop. I, I could take a decision if I wanted to stop. I even think I could, like, knock you out. I think I, I got that in me, low-key, but I want to have the first break on knockout, so, you yeah, know, we'll see. Bro, have you ever knocked so, anyone out in your life? Be honest. Have you? Yes. Really? I swear on everything I love. I nice. look you dead in your eyes. Yes, bro. So you haven't. That there's my answer. I haven't actually. No, I haven't. But I have a lot of confidence, and yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean, to be fair though, like, like, AJ, I don't want you to be like Bryce Hall with the forty street fight, saying I'm not a boxer. No, bro. Fighter. No, no. It's 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 real gloves, bro. We we actually box. It's not no street fight okay. bullshit. No Bryce Hall oh, bullshit. Shit, okay. This is real boxing, bro. Yes, I have stopped people. I have knocked people out. That's interesting. That's 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 very impressive, bro. You know, good job. You know. Very well, very well done. Thank you. I got you. I got you. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think what other. <laughs> um, shoot, I just, I just, I just drew a blank. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you got this. You got this, Mark. I believe in you, bro. Right, hey, I appreciate bro. it. I appreciate it. Um, it, well, I mean, with you guys, there's no bad blood. I feel like you guys are cool, but when it gets to the ring, like you're, you gotta take that all away because you're, you're fighting at the end of the day. You're not hugging. You're not kissing or anything like that. No homo stuff. But Yo, you guys are, you guys are fighting. Or this is a, this is a fight, no matter how shape or form it is. So, um, 100%. do you think that affects like, like, God? Okay. Um. No. No. I got it. Do you think like you being friendly, all that's gonna affect how you are gonna be in a ring, or you guys have the switch? 
I only spar my friends. I only spar my friends, so this isn't anything different. I don't really hate anyone, to be honest, but Ant. But, I mean, I don't really hate anyone else, so this is just going to be like a sparring session. I have also, be like, before I went to the gym and started sparring, you know, random people and people who go to that gym, I have also sparred my friends, so it's also not new to me. I, I'm a new person when I get in that ring, so... And AJ's going to find that out on September 16th, so... I hope so, bro. I really fucking hope so, bro, because... If you don't bring me a challenge, I'm going to be upset. I'm serious. You better be not talking out of your ass, bro. I'm telling you. Um, You'll see. You'll see. I really hope so. Yeah, I would. Okay, well, I, I got nothing else. So I will say, uh, what's your guys' final prediction for your fight? And any final words? I'll let Thomas go first. I want to yeah. hear. Okay. See, I, I look you up, too, because it could go two ways. I could either go. I think most likely for both of us, it might go to decision. Uh, it. Uh, I'm not gonna say do it, bro. Fucking do it. Tell me that's you're gonna knock coffee. me out. Tell me. Stoppage. Stoppage. I'll, I'll I'll get on my stoppage. I'm not gonna be that cocky anymore at this point. I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna knock you out first round. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a stoppage. How how much? Two, three, third round, third round, third round stoppage. That's what, that's what I'm going for. All right, AJ. Same same question. What's your prediction and final words to your opponent? Um. Okay, final words. Uh, Thomas, I respect you, as you know. Uh, you're pretty cool. We have a lot in common. But I am going to stop you. I'm going to beat you, whether it's by knockout, whether it's by body shot, anything, bro. I, I'll stop you with a jab. Whatever I want to do, it's going to go that way. I just want you to know that. All right, and I, and I think that wraps it up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Breakout 02, September 16th, live on, the, live on YouTube on the Breakout Live YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.